thanks so much for clicking the video. Um, this is just sort of a highlights reel of all my raw footage that was good enough quality to put in from the marathon weekend. So there's timestamps if you want to click through. If you did the race or if you didn't and you want to see what the vibe was like, hopefully this is a really good documentation of it and it's something I can look back on and be proud of. So hopefully it will be kind of similar for you. And thanks so much for clicking. on our way it's like for friends and family dad's not running the marathon but it should be fun to get um, some bits at like a supermarket because I have a few like American things I like from when I lived in the US and I'm on such a nice like I'm kind of out of it from main Boston and it's so nice like this is what a treat you know it's fun to get away and do a race it's been a while and it's been a while since I've been in America so I'm having a lovely day Um, I am obsessed with key lime pie and it's just not a thing in England and I've just gone to a pie shop and that's <laughs> the whole reason I came here basically was to go to a pie shop like not Boston but this little like um, suburb of Boston is to go to this pie shop and to see what pies they had and they had key lime pies and they're like single portion sizes oh my god I'm so excited oh. Oh. There's not like an American look. Okay. I guess that's like really. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, it? probably. Cool. Yeah, it's perfect running weather. Are you running? Yes. I see on your back. 
buses um, because I don't trust public transport I'm very excited ah! just in the park um, finding the bus line it's quite long uh, but we're here when we're meant to be here so and also I'm starting in a way further back than I meant to because I don't want to do like I don't want to be clipped by fast people oh, oh my gosh there's school buses oh my gosh Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. What a treat. They're at yellow American school buses. I'll show you when I'm on one. That is incredibly exciting. Oh, here's the back of the line. Right? Here? Am I? Yeah, yeah. Great. <laughs> because your time is based on your net time based on the chip that's in your bed. All the way down by the baseball field, also by the signs that have to go past the information tent. You're now leaving Athletes Village. Oh, I meant if to be leaving Athletes Village. Do, uh, go to athletes the village. Right. If you're I don't want to do that. Seven and eight, um, go to the far left. So four, I'm going to go and five, check that I can definitely go back. Oh, I don't think you can hear me. I'm going to check that I can definitely go back a corral. Um, and if I can, then I will just go then. Because I really don't want to go with the people. My speed, because I'm not that speed, am I? <laughs> Once again, those of you with white bib numbers on your back. I know oh, that can't is hear in this here. But you gotta give them a yell. Like myself get excited until I was like at the start line. So I'm like just now being like, oh my god, this is crazy. I'm running the Boston Marathon. Someone's coconutty. It just all hit you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I'm gonna go off at that pace like now, like nine minute just over nine minute miles. Yeah, that's me too. I don't know if I look weird, but I have sun cream on now. Yeah. I think we're like at the start. So, oh god, ah! Everyone's starting to run. Where is it? Oh my god, it's there, it's there. 
I'm there. Ah! Oh my gosh. Tired. I'm just slowing down. Yeah, four miles. In. I'm feeling good, obviously, because I'm like talking like pretty steadily. So I couldn't tell you the pace I'm doing. So just kind of like take it. Whoa. Here we go. Cute. 22 to go. between seven and eight and I've worked out that I could walk from here and still make it back like by the end by the time it stops so that feels pretty good I know that I'm gonna finish unless I break my leg so that's great There's this like in this town called Wellesley or Wellesley. This is the college. And at mile 13 there's like all of the students come out to cheer. And it's really loud and I can like hear them in the distance. But that's gonna be fun. aching so much like they kind of feel like I've already run the race and you know you, the stuff you get like afterwards it kind of feels like that but whatever I'll just still run it again soon mile 16 I started running again but I will walk again in a bit. I just, yeah, I want to enjoy it. I want to enjoy it. Oh, I'm crying. I'm not enjoying it. Okay, so I'm just going to enjoy it again. In a way, there's kind of, there's sort of shame from something like this. Like, I've got upset because. I feel like the shame that I'm not fit 
like I haven't trained enough. But I think like I, I just did everything I could really and I had so many injuries and like stupid like freak events that happen. But like I can't have done anything else really. And I'm just like I feel like embarrassed now that I'm walking. Did I go off to falls? But my legs just hurt, and that's just the situation. And I just really need to like enjoy it. So that's the hill I'm over. I think it's relatively downhill from now, so that's nice. That's nice. Oh. I don't know if that video works, but I am now past the heartbreak hill walking again. I'm trying to enjoy it and um, yeah, here we go. Coming up to where my parents are, so that would be nice. So there we have it guys, thanks so much for watching. Despite the tears, I genuinely had a really, really lovely day. I'm all recovered now and I never have to do a marathon again. I can just do halves and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>